Today's math strategy video is going to be on using symbols to compare fractions. So let's just talk about the symbols uh, that we are going to be using today. So these are called inequality symbols. So the ones that were these two specifically right here, because we're talking about things that are not equal in size. So this symbol right here, this symbol means less than. And this symbol right here means greater than. Let me try to use a little bit of a darker color here. So when we look at these two symbols, how you can kind of remember which one is which is whichever one is turned in the certain direction. So here we see one small point. This means less than because this is less than the distance between this point and this point. So it means less than. Now, when you look at this one, you have these large points here. So this right here, this is greater than this point over here. And then obviously this is our equal sign, meaning that we, whatever we're comparing are the same, they're equal. So let's try to using these symbols. So we have our, some models here. It says Meg and Jay poured pink lemonade for themselves. Meg's glass was five eighths full and Jay's glass was seven eighths full. The fractions five eighths and seven eighths have the same denominator. Compare the numerators. So we have five eighths and seven eighths. Now remember when at the previous video, when we have the same denominator, all we have to do is look at the numerators and find which one is larger. So, or smaller, depending on what it's asking. So I, right here, I'm gonna look for what's larger. So I know that seven is larger than five. So I'm going to use, or that, you know, use my symbols. So I have my greater than and then less than. So five eighths, since five is smaller, so it would be just the little point five eighths is less than seven eighths. Remember that this point is going to be to the smaller, whereas this, this is a large part. This is always going to be where the larger fraction or number or whatever it is we're comparing, it's always going to point into the direction of the larger piece. So this one would be the smaller piece. Let's look at these and compare. So here in this model, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three eighths. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. Same, same denominator, so pretty easy to compare. Let me erase this up here. So we have three, why can I, I wanna use a different color. I have three eighths and then six eighths. Okay, since three eighths is smaller, I'm gonna have my little dot and it's gonna go upward like this because three eighths is less than six eighths. So this, this part, this really big part, is gonna be pointed towards the larger fraction here. Now, what if I wanted to turn this around? What if I had six eighths and three eighths? What would the symbol look like then? Now remember, I'm just gonna go back. I've got three eighths here. I'm gonna put that small dot. This is always going to point towards the larger fraction. So six eighths is greater than three eighths. Now let's look at another example. We have one third and one 
half. These were those really important benchmark fractions that we, I wanted to make sure that you knew that a half is always going to be larger than a third. So this symbol, remember, this is going to be pointed towards the larger number or fraction. So I put my dot there. This is the small part. This is the large part. So one third is less than one half. That is the end of today's math strategy video.